Hi there, and welcome back to Storytime with Horse Buddies. This is Rhoda with the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today, we're gonna to hear the story of a horse named Royal T. And Royal T is part of the story that was written by our friend Charlotte, with the pictures drawn by our friend Susie. Thank you so much for creating this lovely story about Royal T's life. It's called The Far Turn. So take some time right now with me to thank Charlotte and Susie for sharing this story with us. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Soon after birth, swaying on skinny legs and straw, I tested my strength as people gazed and smiled at me. Right then, I knew I was special. Royal thoroughbred blood ran through my veins and with royal names for both of my parents, it was decided I would be called Royal T and horse racing would be my fortune. In spring outside the barn, I discovered a huge fenced pasture with yummy Kentucky grass to eat. I played tag with other foals and zoomed along the fence. Mom grazed with other mares and kept a watchful eye on me until one day she was sent to a distant pasture. I missed her being nearby, but by then I had a nanny horse to keep the other foals and me out of trouble. As I grew older, I learned what racehorses really do. I had saddle training and a buck a rider whenever I could. At the racetrack, my first response to the starting gate was fear and flight, but I recovered with pats and peppermints. Do you see royalty there getting close to the starting gate? doesn't like it right away. He has to get used to it over time. And there are those pats and those peppermints, if you can see. When racing season started, I became a powerful running machine with mighty muscular hind legs that helped me fly off the ground. On the racetrack, I was fearless as I wove around the other horses to the finish line winning by several horse lengths. And look at this lovely picture of the race in action. I strode proudly to the winner's circle and posed for photographers at every turn. Sometimes I did a little dancing prance that delighted the crowd. It's not every day they got to see royalty. Oh, it looks like my one of my cats, Finn, has joined us. Say hi, Finn. I was gonna say hello to Finn. I'm sure he's gonna do whatever he wants to do so he can just hang out with us for a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to royalty in the winner's circle. Then, one gloomy day on a wet and muddy track, as I was squeezed along the rail, I had a misstep which sent me tumbling to the ground. Luckily, my jockey held me down to keep me still. The last thing I remember was a sharp pain in my foreleg as some men rushed me into a van. My hospital stay was short and blurry, a great white room with large padded table and a padded stall. My foreleg was bandaged and I was sent to a new place, different from what I had ever known. After limping out of the van, I was led down the path in a dark barn past a line of stalls until I entered my stall. For several weeks, with pain in my foreleg, I stood alone with my head bowed low. One day, I was guided to a long, narrow pool with a treadmill where I splashed and practiced my gait without the weight on my foreleg. 
gate is a word I want you to remember because when you do this week's activity, gate is going to be what that activity is about. And we'll talk more about it in just a second. The rhythm of my stride reminded me of my racing days. After I grew stronger, my training program completely changed. I watched my hooves to avoid cones on the ground. The saddle and riders were heavier, but most of all, there was no track. I wanted to run, but I wasn't allowed. I missed my racing fame and felt that I no longer deserved my royal name. Days whizzed by into weeks and different strangers studied me in a riding ring. I felt better with all the attention, especially from a man and his little girl named Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee had a flickering ponytail like me. When she came to my stall, she knew just where I liked to be scratched around my mane, and in happiness, I tilted my head sideways and nuzzled her. After school day, she brought carrots and brushed and cuddled me. On the weekends, we rode the farm trails with the wind fluttering our ponytails. There's royalty with Jamie Lee. It's a nice way to spend the weekend, don't you think? With Jamie Lee on my back and a trainer's direction, I learned a new kind of riding in the ring called dressage, which included controlled walking, trotting, and cantering. Those are all different types of gaits. Her straight posture in the saddle improved my form, and together we rode in loops and straight lines to different lettered signs. Do you see those lettered signs? After months of practice, we entered a schooling show with many riders and horses. And on this special day, Jamie Lee braided my mane. When our turn came to wow the crowd, the announcer called our names, Jamie Lee and Royal T. I was bursting with pride when we shared the applause because I knew now that fans came to see Team Jamie Lee and royalty, and that's how it would always be. And let me show you this picture at the very end of Jamie Lee with her royalty. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, go to our website and check out the activity for the far turn. I think that you have a guess that it's gonna be about horse gates. If you have that guess, you're right. So check it out. If you have any questions, email me at rferraro at racingmuseum.net. And once you finish your work on horse gates, if you want to take a picture and send it to me, you may have a chance to be featured on our next story time with horse buddies. And we'll say goodbye. And Finn is eating my shirt. Let's see if we can get him to say hello, if he will say hello and goodbye before we go. Finn, say hi. No? No, you just want to lay? Okay, I'll let you lay. All right, goodbye. We'll see you next time.